Alrighty, guys and gals, what is going on, all you beautiful people? Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the Misty Mountain Gaming Channel. I'm just in my stuff. <laughs> Should have already did this. Yeah, welcome back. I'm Big E, up on the screen. This is Mr. Lucius. This is our hardcore challenge. This is our human warlock right here. There he is right there, standing by the brazier. This is Jug Crush. This is our demon companion. One of two that we can summon. Yeah. We do have a quest to go get a succubus. And uh, that's currently kind of what we are doing. Anyway, I'll put the rules up on the screen temporarily, right over there. You can pause the video if you'd like to review them, but they are very straightforward. Also, something new from this point forward in all of my Let's Plays. I don't know if you guys can tell, but the graphics, I have tweaked the graphics... Uh, basically, all my settings are ultra high, but I have some console commands that I've discovered. And mixed in with a contrast setting, I think it gives the game a much richer, vivid, realistic uh, look. So I do notice a slight kind of... I don't want to call it lag. It's like a rendering thing, I think. I don't know if you guys can tell. Let me know what you guys think of this graphic settings. Also, let me know if you're seeing any kind of annoying stutter or render lag. I don't know how else to describe it. You can see it in the grass. Yeah, but if anybody's interested... Oh, what? Fuck. Hold on. <laughs> okay, we are on the wetlands. I'm just like running through here. Okay, that's level 20. Okay, we might not be actually too bad in here. Okay, I feel I don't feel uh, too bad right now. <laughs> uh, I'm glad I'm not on a PvP server. I'd be flagged as a contested area. But we're not. Hold on. Okay, that I can't. That song is stuck in my playlist because I redid everything. But uh, so anyway. <laughs> I'm a little bit distracted here. Um, We did this last episode while I was complaining about my car. We finished this. We got the scouts, the grunts, and we traversed Dun Algaz. We turned this in in Menethil Harbor. And that's where we're currently heading. And I'm going to start running. Let's get our demon armor up. Anyway, we are on our way to Menethil Harbor because I can take a boat. Hello, how's it going? I can take a boat to um, Dark Shore. Yeah. And then from there, we can take, we can grab a flight path there, obviously. But then we can take, uh, no, which is Dark Shore. We can run down all the way through there. Oh. <laughs> wow, we must have been really close. Yeah, well, we. Uh, we had 175 experience from that discovery, and we hit level 21. Let's get a talent point real quick, and I'll see if I can focus the hell on up and make some sense. Uh, oh, we're maxed out. Do I, so, yeah, what am I doing here? I got nothing in destruction. Uh, it's like we're demonology. We are demonology. Yeah, that's maxed out. That's maxed out. This is maxed out. We can increase the max of a mana... Of the Imp Void Walker Succubus at Fell Hunter by 3%. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I can increase the maximum health of Imp Void Walker, of our pets, I'm just going to say, by 3%. That's not too bad. Um, Increase the damage done. Uh, so, depending on how far we can get in this challenge, um, I mean, we're mainly going to be using the, the Void Walker. Actually, never mind. I, the Fell Hunter, I feel like, is the best for dungeons and things like that. I think it does the most damage. Uh, it's the most useful. But we're going to be soloing here and probably not running dungeons. So we need the tank. So never mind. Um, 
Da, 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 da. Do some casting time. Yeah, a lot of this is... This actually doesn't seem too bad. This actually seems really good. Uh, and I can max this out, which means I could get... So if we max this out, if our Shadow Bolt Critical Strikes increase Shadow Damage dealt to the target by 20%. Until four non-periodic damage sources are applied, it lasts 12 seconds. Um, fucking hell. <laughs> this is also good. Uh, yeah. Eight, so that would be 1.6 if we max that out like a second and a half. Uh, so that I'm so if we max that out, I think our corruption would be like a point four, uh, if my math is correct, and probably not. I think uh, I've got to pick something here, right? This I would like that. Da, 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 da. So we've respect once, and I, I un we had I think two in here, or at least one, and I redid it. Um, I actually I think we're gonna do this. Actually, I know it doesn't. It's not a lot, but it is a little. We're at four seventy three health. I did this last time, and it was such a minimal amount. Uh, it felt like a stupid choice, but I, I've got it. If I want to go lower in this tree, I've got to get 15 points in here. So I've got to spend. So let's see. We're at 473 health. Let's see where we get to. Okay. <laughs> 10 extra health and reduced spirit. <laughs> I don't, that just doesn't seem good. It just doesn't seem good. So, I mean, the way that I uh, read that, uh, I mean, is that is that 50 health <laughs> at the expense of 5% uh, of our mana? I don't know. But whatever. Decision's made. We got a crock on us. We got a crock on our six. Yeah, so... As far as I'm concerned, these graphics, uh, the settings, the tweak, it looked a hell of a lot different. And the big difference for me, and I'll show you guys what I did here. Like I said, it just, I don't know how else to describe it, except it looks a lot richer. So uh, let me show you, um, let me pull this up. So I've got... Well, I've got Action Cam. Uh, I saw actually Alpine Gaming was using this. I'm, I have it off right now. It's, it does look a little bit weird to me. Um, so I have this mod. Well, it's not a mod. It's a console command. I actually couldn't really see the difference that it made very much. But I'm going to... You can pause the video if you want to try these out. The big ones are... What, where are they? So I've got this. It's just a macro. For anybody who doesn't know how to create a macro, there are, you know, not everybody knows how to do that. Uh, just You just type forward slash macro. It brings up this, and then you can create uh, character-specific macros, like, for instance, uh, I call this burn. What this does, it starts to cast emulate, and it sends Juck Crush in, or my pet, in at the same time. But uh, anyway, so... Uh, I've got this color one. I was looking at console commands. Um, I've got... Where the hell is the other one? A lot of these I don't use anymore, so I don't know what the hell they are. Uh, they are. So there's my shadow. And this does... This did make a little bit of a difference, but my big one... Ultra. Okay. So if you guys are interested in copying this, uh, pause the screen now. Uh, write all that down, and then it's it's for it goes down further. Well, it's just one more line. The sun shafts too. 
this made a big difference, but I'm going to tell you, the thing that made the biggest difference for me, so you can see my graphic settings are basically ultra, with the exception of shadow quality. No, nope, never mind. <laughs> Uh, anyway, if you guys are having like lag and stuff in the game, shadow quality, reducing shadow quality is one of the best things you can do to improve your game performance. And I don't recommend doing this unless you've got, you know, if you've got, unless you've got a high end graphics card, because it, you'll get a lot of stutter and crap. Um, this contrast by default. Let me show you something here. Let me see if I can get to a place. It's going to be hard to tell. So by default, this is up to like 50. I think it's around 50. It's hard to tell because this goddamn thing's in the way. I just moved this to 70. And I, I think it made the biggest difference. It's like dark areas look dark. Uh, I just like it. The colors pop a little bit more. Um, so we're going to test that out. So when we, ever, when we get into dark places, and I'll see if I can find one up here, like a dark room. I want it to feel like a dark space. You know, if we ever go into a dungeon or something, I want it to, to feel a little bit... Uh, I, I don't want it to be as bright. But, yeah, I don't know. I think it looks good. I think it looks better. Let me know what you guys think. Anyway. <laughs> what is today? Today is Thursday, February 3rd for me. It's probably like a full week by the time this comes out or more. Anyway, I hope everyone is doing all right. I sure do. Let's make up one of these. We gotta and we gotta sell some stuff. Uh, we gotta sell some stuff, and I'm not gonna worry about another one right now. But we do need another soul shard. It's good to have an extra one. An extra one. We got a quest here. Yeah, we could quest in this area. The thing is. I kind of, I think I want to quest uh, over here. I think I want to quest in Darkshore. Oh, we actually can't, can we? We're out of the level range. No, uh, Ashenvale. This is where I want to quest. <laughs> so we're going to take the boat over here. And let me quit running my flapper and actually get this done. We've quested here on other characters. We've, I don't think we've really quested very much in Ashenvale. Well, we have a little bit. Anyway, let's go turn this in. Hello. What are you doing? Dwill. More like Dill. What can I do for you? The report is full of bad news. I see the Dragon Mars are making a strong move into Algaz. Normally, the Dragon Mars just hide up in the hills. What made them surge into Algaz is still a mystery. Thank you, Lucius, and we'll probably want your help dealing with these orcs. Well, I don't know. That's my choice, not yours. <laughs> Like, you don't own me, dude. I work for myself. We're a solo dude here. Nice monocle, my brother. Look at that. Hell yeah. I guess it's not a monocle, is it? Looks like a gnome thing. Um, Let's sell crap. We can't use the auction house. So we're just going to sell some garbage here. Well, all of it's not garbage, but this is our only option of selling items. That's a quest item, apparently. Peace Bloom, we want to hold on to that. We've got some scrolls. These we picked up up off of humanoids. I think uh, they were either quest rewards or dropped off the damn murlocs. Clam meat will save because of cooking stuff. Dun, dun, dun. Um, this has more top end damage. And I'm not sure why I'm using the other one. I know that our current one, it says the 15-8 damage per second. It's not a huge difference, actually, and our the our current one is much faster, and I know that doesn't make much of a difference either. The thing I like about our current wand, like if this was a bigger top end difference, I think I would switch over to this. Uh, but damage per second. So, the way that I understand it, we have a, a hot, if whenever we critical strike, this is going to do a lot more damage, right? Uh, but I think on average with this Torchlight Wand, just doing normal white hits, I think it's better for us. And I like the speed, uh, mainly because if something starts to run away, that's when I'm going to be wanding something, or if I'm out of mana. So um, probably a bad idea, but I've sold it. <laughs> We've got all 8 and 10, so let's sell this little 6-slot bag. I know I could probably save that. 
Let's save one of them. Uh, we'll sell this one because I get more silver for it. We'll save that for the for our, the bank. We can use the bank. Uh, we don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Oh, these are the clues. Well, we've already done this. I, yeah, okay. We can get rid of this stuff. These are the clues from the treasure finding episodes that were a nightmare. <laughs> okay. Good to go here. All right, brother. How are we doing on drinks? Uh, yeah, we're okay. We're okay. See yeah, see you around, brother. Yes, I don't know if you guys can tell the difference. It just, it looks a little bit, I feel like it looks a little bit better in here. <clears throat> anyway, let's see if we can catch the boat. Dun, 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 dun. There are some, some other mods or some add-ons. I keep saying mods. <clears throat> I guess the same thing. There were some other ones in um, a console commands I was looking at. Um, I just completely lost my train of thought regarding. <laughs> oh, uh, like this, the character portrait. I know you can move this stuff around, but uh, I did see a guy. I watched a couple of videos <clears throat> and I kind of pieced the, uh, the mods, the, uh, the macros together that way. But, one guy had like a circle of health down here. I think that's kind of how Guild Wars Wars might do it in a couple other MMOs. Um, where it just puts your health and mana in a circle down here. I mean, that's really all I use this for, right? Is this... Yeah, this... Is this the right... Yeah, I think this is the right uh, area. <laughs> oh, man. Uh... Level 21? We made it to level 21. That feels pretty good. Da, da, da. Oops. Let's keep that up. I feel like I need my bar back over here. I usually have one bar here. And I used to have these... Uh, well, they're faded out a little bit. But I used to have them faded out a lot more to clean up the interface. But our interface is fairly clean. And a lot of that you can get just from hiding the chat button. Seeing all this crap, scroll, especially if you're uh, like, um, what is it, four? Looking for group and <laughs> trade. I usually turn those things off right away, but I love this hide chat button add-on. Now, obviously, if, if like on other characters, if I'm trying to get into a group or something, I'll leave it on so I can see whispers and whatnot. Hey, what's up, fellas? What's going on, bros? I don't think... Can I use uh, buffs from these guys if they give me a Mark of the Wild? I don't know that I can. I forgot my own rule set. I don't think I can. I think the only buffs I can use are my own buffs uh, or buffs from food, food items that I create. Yeah, I think that's right. We got here. He's on follow. I think he's on follow. I see this a lot in the game. Anyway, I don't care. Doesn't bother me. So this episode, we're going to be doing a lot of we're going to be doing a lot of running around. We're going to, like I said, we're going to take the boat over here. We'll grab the flight path here, and then we're just going to have to uh, we're going to have to truck it, truck it on to the south. We'll come down through here, and we're we'll here, and we'll have a lot of quests we can do here. Mix it up a little bit. Also, I've been uh, trying to adjust the music volume for you guys. It's uh, it's been a little bit of a struggle, but I the music, the background that you hear is it's now integrated into my uh, OBS, which is my recording software. Instead of playing background music through like Windows Media Player or the Groove app thing, um, so hopefully it will. The levels are a bit more equalized. It's like the music for you guys won't be barely audible. And for me, too much where I can't even hear myself talk. That's how it has been uh, in the past. So I've always turned the music down. You probably noticed at the beginning of all my videos, I'm looking over here. It's like, okay, well, let's turn the music down. I should no longer have to do that. And it should be a good level. Um, if anybody 
would be so kind as to let me know how it sounds because I I had before I made this change, somebody was saying that um, like they couldn't hear the music at all. Yeah, look at these shadows, man. Look at that contrast difference. Yeah, I like this a lot. It just that feels a lot more realistic to me than it's super super bright. Anyway, let me know how the music sounds. If it's too high or too low, it would help me out a lot. Um, it really would. And I know I could just watch the, the videos back. I just don't really like watching me on the screen. That might sound a little bit weird. <laughs> I do check my videos periodically to make sure there's no mistakes, but not as much as I used to because I'm kind of in a groove now. But uh, if the audio sounds okay, let me know. If it needs to be turned up a little, let me know. Windseeker. We used to be on Windseeker. We have transferred to Mancrick. Uh, but apparently uh, everything's merged together. The boys are heading to Teldrassil. They're heading to Teldrassil. 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 Teledrassil. <laughs> I don't know what it is. We can still see these quests, which is interesting. Uh, I know if you go to the north here, uh, up this area, there are some higher level mobs we could get quests for also down here. All right, we have no flight point connected here so we can't go anywhere i guess we'll check in with this uh lunar salesman do we get xp for this let's see no it just increases our reputation okay well i know the coin those coins that you get they can be used to purchase festival items but i don't uh, i don't actually care about them the only reason i got that was because i thought maybe we would get some xp i've done all that before in retail on my characters i've done all i've done every single holiday achie or seasonal achievement whatever it's called that you can do and if you do all of them and it takes a full year to do them because some, you know, they only happen once a year, obviously. So it takes at least 12 months to get them all done. But if you get them all done, you get an achievement called What a Long Strange Trip It's Been. And you get a really cool Drake mount. It, I think it's the Violet Proto Drake. It looks really cool. One of my favorite mounts. It's the same model as uh, all of the other Drakes, basically. Um, including the highly coveted, um, it's, it's my all time favorite mount. Fuck. What is it called? <laughs> it's a rare mount. It's hard as balls to get. It took me months and months and months to get it. It flies around, um, well, like there's no map for it yet in the game. <laughs> um, Fucking hell. Wrath of the Lich King area? What the hell is that called? <laughs> I can't remember, man. My brain is not working today. Anyway. It'll come to me like five hours from now. I'll be sitting doing some work or something or watching something and it'll just pop into my head. Yeah, it's definitely a lot darker. It's definitely a lot darker. I just like the contrast. I've always liked contrast. Uh, it, it basically, everything in life. Like guitars, furniture, cars, clothing. Go ahead and fuck off. <laughs> Spam calls on my phone every day. Every day, several times a day. I block every single one of the numbers. If you're having trouble with that on your cell phone, you can register register your phone on the Do Not Call registry. Just 
get, you know, Google it. Put your phone number in there. I think it takes like 30 days. So I've just, this is a kind of a new phone and I've just recently done it. So I have to wait a couple more weeks. Um, but after 30 days or something, it might be less time than that. But if you're still getting calls, uh, whatever number calls you, go ahead and block it. But also just go back to the site and put that number in. And it's supposed to cover an entire call center from those extensions. Uh, and it has worked for me in the past. It worked on my old cell phone, but it just, it takes a while for, you know, for the bastards to comply. I don't know what happens if they continue to do it. I don't know if there are fines involved, but something bad happens because I stopped getting spam calls. Same thing with text messages. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so this is going to be an uneventful uh, episode. We're already... Uh, I mean, the episode is just going to be me running down here. I guess I could have done a, a little cut scene, but um, well, we didn't. That's how we usually do it. This is a hardcore challenge, so I don't want to cut too much stuff out. You know, uh, but I mean, we're totally safe running through this area. But uh, this might be the whole episode. We'll get down to Astronar. In next episode, we'll start we'll start up some questing. Yes, we will. We'll probably have to slay some furl bogs. Or fur bo furl bogs, I think it is. What's our herbalism looking like? Oh, we don't have herbalism yet. We still have tailoring. That's right. Uh, we're going to drop tailoring. I picked up tailoring just because I wanted to get some bags made for us, but uh, we're looking good on bags. Uh, if you've got eight or ten slot bags <laughs> and classic, you know, before level 15, you're doing pretty damn good, right? But tailoring is a great way just to get a couple of small bags, get those extra sp spaces. But uh, we, we do have herbalism. We're going to pick up herbs. We've been doing that, putting them in the bank, storing them up. We're going to drop tailoring and pick up alchemy, and then we'll be able to sit right there at the bank and from our bags, and when we get our skill up, we'll start making some of these uh, health pots. The reason we have these right now is because they've been dropping off mobs or they were a quest reward. That's the only way we can get them. And it has to be a humanoid that drops these things or we can't use them. Unless if it's an animal part, right? Obviously, kill an animal you get an animal part if you're into that sort of thing <laughs> let's do this turn that interface off i might hide that interface down here a little bit more I'll fade it out just a little bit i love the immersion the clean feel of the screen And I know, because I'm a button clicker, this is the only reason I have this shit down here. Same way on guns. All my characters, I have these here, just because it's quick, right? Um, just because I'm a button clicker. I've been trying to uh, sort of slowly work in keybinds in. Just said it many times. We've been through this conversation many times. <laughs> it's really difficult for me to do. When you do something for 17, 18 years, it's hard to break that habit. So we played Little Nightmares on the channel, both part, parts one and two. Man, that was a great game. <laughs> that was a great game. If we have any new viewers, um, you can find that in the completed series uh, on the channel. Uh, you know, if you're on the home uh, tab instead of the videos tab, if you go home, scroll down in the completed series, Little Nightmares. Anyway, that was a primarily keyboard game. <laughs> uh, so it was tough. I, I struggled quite a bit. There are some pretty hilarious struggling moments in that game where I'm trying to use my index finger and my uh, ring finger. <laughs> Games like that I struggle with greatly. It's so also I've got a uh, I've got an Xbox, uh, not an Xbox. I got a I got a PS4. I bought it actually shortly before the PS5 came out because they were they were cheap as balls. 
I played it for like a month or so, put it back in the box. The thing is brand new. I just couldn't get used to the controller. <laughs> but uh, I might break that thing back out. I'm going to have to get a thumbnail here. I'm going to try to find something cool. I'm all about cool thumbnails. You guys know that. Sometimes they're a little bit too fancy, aren't they? They're not all good. They can't all be amazing. One thing I'm not good at... I mean, I could be good at it if I wanted to, but uh, I generally never remember to get a thumbnail of what the actual episode theme is. <laughs> Occasionally I do. And occasionally I'll find an image. It has to be a copyright free image on YouTube or on you know Google Images or wherever. And I'll try to make it work, like uh, the Murloc thing we did with Lucius. But sometimes it's just me standing and <laughs> like, oh, this video is gonna be about him on a road in the forest. So that's actually that actually looks pretty good to me right there. This I'm gonna take a couple here. That might not be the one. But if you guys see that, you'll be like, oh, Ashen Vale? Of course, I could name... I could name the episode Journey to Ashen Vale, and that would give it away. So let's see. This, um... Let's look at... Do I have my... I need to put that on the bar. But uh, let's look at this... Hold on. I need to... Where's my... That's Atlas Loot. Bartender needs to go here. Let me do something really quick, guys. Bear with me. What but, uh, bars are currently not being used? Bar 3 is not currently being used. We want... Oh, it's... Why in the hell is it up here? That's weird. Uh, we need it like this, though. This needs to come over here. Hang on, guys. Uh, we need to reduce the padding. I like minus 3. I also like to reduce the scale. We'll do 7.5. Lock that bad boy in place. I've got a macro button I could just quick. I can also move my... This is usually where my hearthstone is. Okay, so uh, let me do something really quick. This action cam. Yeah, my friend Alpine Gaming was using this for a while. So we've got cam. It needs to be reversed. Cam on and cam off. So it kind of puts your character to the side. The only problem I have with the camera is in combat, especially for a melee class, the camera is kind of doing this. It looks really cool, but I just don't like how it's not centered. Yeah, it, it kind of throws me off a little bit. I don't know. We might we might mess around with that when we're killing some uh, furl bogs over here. We might experiment with it, see how we like it. And it also feels like this is just a little bit. Let me. Can I? Actually, I just need to brighten it with the contrast. I don't want it too much. That looks pretty good. So if we ever run a dungeon, uh, we may have to change that a little bit to brighten it up a little bit. I don't know. We'll, we'll mess around with it. I feel like it's a little too bright now. I mean, it is daytime, though. <laughs> so here we go. We have made it. Let's pick up this. All right. I expected to see a lot of quests. Okay, we have some. Yeah, we've got quests here. Anyway, let's check into the inn. We'll check into the inn, and then we'll... Uh, we'll go ahead and call this all kinds of quests we'll pick up here. And we will. We'll do the quests. We'll see what kind of rooms they have. Where's my uh, Where's my Hearthstone? Stout Lagger. We need to change that. Where's the innkeeper? She uh, should be up here. Here she is. Good God.
This is supposed to be jazz. Like, this is kind of jazzy, but that other shit. <laughs> oh, thank you. Let's make this in our home. Here we are. Yeah, we don't need to go to Stout Lager Inn, which is uh, Loch Madon. Let's see what kind of rooms they have. Okay, not much privacy. Not much privacy, but we're going to take this bed because of the posts. I like that. Anyway, we have to call it. It's been an un uneventful episode, but it, it needed to be done. Thank you guys very much for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. I surely, surely do. You guys take care. Chuck Crush, Mr. Lucius, and myself will catch you guys in the next one. Farewell. Farewell. Take care and peace. <laughs>